Hello and welcome. My name is Cheryl Bradley. I'm a spiritual medium and I welcome you to today's Spiritually Cut to Vignette. Um, what does kindred spirits mean? So as we move to the vignettes, I ask you to just to open your heart, um, open your truths, open your pearl, and take what you need and leave the rest. So today, um, kindred spirits. So kindred spirits are very, um, are very unique spirits. They are that familiar feeling that you have when you meet someone. Uh, they are different than our soul circles and our soul groups. So uh, we will uh, work on, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring that to you in the next vignette. And I just, uh, what are kindred spirits? They can be one of, one of either way. So they are spirits that are related to an incarnation. So they were, um, they were, they were a brother or a sister in a prior lifetime. Um, and they can be part of soul groups too. Um, but kindred spirits are really, uh, are really friends of ours on the other side. That's primarily what they are. Because when they're related to us, sometimes they are still kindred spirits, but when they've been related to us, sometimes generally they become our soul groups. So we kind of move through um, incarnations with them. But kindred spirits are friends that we have on the other side. That's why spirit, um, this picture, really um spirit really moved me to include this picture and so we're they're all friends um so there are approximately 10 billion spirits on the other side and of that one million of them are our kindred souls that means we're familiar with them we're friendly with them we um we socialize with them on the other side we um have a relationship with them and so sometimes not sometimes often very often they, um, we have a coordination with them when we decide to incarnate. And they come and they move through our lifetime very purposefully at times. Um, and I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but we also, we also manifest many different um, aspects of our life on earth. And we, we, we certainly build a blueprint on the other side, but we also are constantly our spirits of love and light are constantly um, making our way through our challenges, through our lifetime. Maybe we hit a bump in the road that we didn't anticipate. Um, and so we have these kindred spirits and our spirits, our spirits have a conversation with each other. And so very often these kindred spirits um, can of, of so certainly help you um, while on the other side, um, but sometimes on earth as well. So they have, um, they can give you direction, they comfort, they can challenge depending on what we're choosing to have them in. I wanna, I feel very um, compelled to just talk about this um, aspect of kindred spirits. If you think about your lifetime, you think about that person that kind of just floated in your life, made an impact either um, in a comfort or not comfort way, and then just moved. And when that happens, I want you to kind of just think back and say, Hmm. Is that was that a kindred spirit of mine? Did that spirit come through my life? Come through my um, cross my path purposefully? Because I can guarantee you they did. Um, and sometimes you just look at someone, or you just say, "Wow, I know this person from another place. This is someone that I know." Um, so with this vignette, I, I choose not so much to talk about the other side as much because we have so much guidance on the other side, but I'm choosing to make a focus on our earth time. And, and also when you just are um, repelled by someone and you can't put a finger on why, there, there's nothing um, to put a reason on. It's just a strong feeling and it's one you can't shake. That is again, you really should pay attention and, and, and check in with your higher self and say, is this a kindred spirit? Um, on the other side, we all get along marvelously and beautifully, right? Because we're, we're working on an optimal um, level. But here on earth, we come in as we left. And you'll see as I move through my next vignettes, um, that comes into play. So when that happens, we we pick up kind of where we left off in another lifetime. And, and sometimes we don't have very good relationships on earth with other spirits. So when we meet up with those spirits again, we get that, oof, that kind of um, hair on the back of our neck. And sometimes that hair on the back of our neck is not a kindred soul, it's a dark soul. And your white spirit recognizes that. So you have to really move into your higher self and say, what is, what is it with this person? Um, and again, if 
when you tap into your highest self, when you ask for help from the other side, they always, always come to whatever you've asked. You just have to be open enough to accept it and to see the signs and to trust, to trust what you feel and what you know is your truth. Um, and that's, that's, that's my mission for doing the vignettes is I want you to find, we want you to find your truths because when you can find your truths, you can find peace and you can find love and you can find, um, you can make everybody around you that much better. So with that, I say thank you for, um, thank you for attending my vignette. Remember, it's light, it's right. God bless.